All right, yo, I'm about to wear this out. Why do optical illusions work? Why? Depth perception, light to dark, tangent lines converging at weird points. Yeah, sure. But what truly enables this to be real, to be possible? You know, our brains are wired for this for a reason okay well I'll tell you why and I think you already know the answer if you've been watching my videos it's because of the the eye shape the all-seeing eye all right yes it is everywhere go look outside look through some trees at the sky and you'll notice it everywhere you can't miss it this is the key to our reality his face in the tree comprised of all that shape and if you think you see something that's a straight line the shape can stack on itself and create perfectly straight lines rigid whatever you need it, it can contour around three-dimensional it can portray three-dimensional on flat surface that's what we're seeing okay so here is uh, Yellowstone and these are like strings of repeating organic strands of that shape it's in there it's everywhere this is why we can see things that are seemingly not there and this is why we're able to miss it not the greatest view but whatever all right look at the brain cross-section of a brain all right it's nothing but that shape even up here in the cerebrum is back-to-back -back versions of that kind of like like this in, in the brain is like what was that at Yellowstone this squiggly deal and it's just a repeating chain of that algorithm. You know, here's, I believe, the spot in China. This is like thousands of miles right here. All right. Same shape everywhere. And if you look close, there's even tear ducts. Because they don't just look like eyes. They are eyes. That's what it's comprised of. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dear. Okay. Okay. It's in the clouds. Do you see that? People want to call me a dumbass. Those are eyes. They see you. It sees you. These are the world serpent's eyes. This is what the ground is that you're walking on. You need to realize we're all one and the same. A whole, we are a whole as ourselves comprised of small parts that we depend on as the whole system depends on us as a small part, but we are a whole comprised of small parts of the bigger system. Self-generating, circulating, cycling, regenerating, self-imposing, all right, it's in the clouds. These, yes, they, they don't just look like serpent scales. It's because they are serpent scales. And look at the shape. You can't miss it. It's fucking everywhere. Not one person has offered me any rational explanation other than what I'm saying. You know why? Because it's true. Yeah, this is way beyond the flat earth, round earth debate. You guys got to be fucking crazier than me if you think you live on a ball flying through space at 66,000 miles an hour while rotating at 1,000 miles an hour at the equator. Are you, are you freaking serious? Wake up. You think we crawled out of the dust? You think we were 
All of a sudden, there was hominids that gave. All of a sudden, there was monkeys that gave birth to hominids that gave birth to humans. All of a sudden, and we lost our hair and fucking evolved over billions of years. Yeah, right. You've got to be kidding me. So this is why. Is the shape? Notice the shape. Yes, yes, yes. There, this cross section. Random rock I'm walking by. Yes, it doesn't just look like a snake eye. Because it is a snake eye. This probably was a giant snake, comprised of that shape everywhere so it holds its rigidity holds its form and that shape in our world is chock full of all the essential compounds for life close up of a rock out of my mom's garden comprised of scaly things these things were compressed and slid into cross sections optical illusions would you look at that enabled by the shape. That's why. Enabled by the shape. Even though it's a little offset, zoom in, and it's made up of those shapes. Brush strokes must naturally do this. I don't know. But it's wired in us. That's why we're able to do this. See this and show this. I mean, the leaves are all whatever. We just looked at that one. You know, in the tree branches, around the skull, the teeth, the chunk of ground has to hold that shape in order for it to be optically elusive. All right. The owl's eyes. They're reptile eyes, but they're owl eyes. Okay. The serpent and the bird. This is key here too. Feathers and scales. Eyes are similar. We're all one and the same. Angels, fallen angels. Something like that. Right. We'll be getting into that or watch my older videos. All right. Optically elusive. Why? Because it's comprised of that shape everywhere. Repeated, stacked, contoured to each other to offer more than one image. This is the all-seeing eye. You know why? Because it sees you. You know why? Because it's an eye. You know why? Because it's in everything. It's of everything. <laughs> Jay-Z. Hove. He's always throwing up his his pyramid his his diamond. You know. There's that shape in the eye. And the contour of his nose, his nostril, is a perfect. The way the light cast across the contour of the ridge of his nose. Is that shape. Even his earring, blending with the background, creates that shape. His eyebrow, with look within his eyebrow. Nothing but that shape, that contour everywhere. Everywhere, the pores, his lips. My goodness, reality is slapping you in the face. Unless you get this, then God bless. Help me spread this. This is how we escape the bondage system that we're in. Fucking pay to live. Follow someone else's rules. Subphotonic said it, y'all. Do no harm. That's the one law. Again, no, normal organic reality, just with a couple alterations on Photoshop, I'm sure. But still, what enables this illusion? You already know the answer. And uh, as far as anyone offering me even one 
logical rebuttal hasn't happened yet hasn't happened yet you hear me hasn't happened yet nor will it <laughs>